What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Troll Store Lite on iOS 18. So before this video starts, here's a few things to know. Troll Store Lite only supports jailbroken devices. As of right now, Palerain 18 for iPad 7th generation and Dopamine are the newest jailbreaks. Dopamine supports iOS 15 through iOS 16.5 and 16.5.1 on some of the older devices, and Palerain 18 only works for the iPad 7th generation because it's the only remaining Checkmate device to get iOS 18. I've made separate tutorials for all the jailbreaks shown, so if you're curious about that at all, go ahead and check the cards or down below in the description. In the future, as we get new jailbreaks a year or two from now, things may change a little bit, but everything should still work perfectly fine. This will work for all jailbroken devices, iOS 14 through iOS 18. Basically, as long as you have a jailbreak, you should be good to go. And you can see it looks just like regular Troll Store. However, if you're on iOS 15 through iOS 17.0 and not jailbroken, check out the regular version of Troll Store as that will allow you to do just a little bit more than Troll Store Lite would. I'll talk about that a little bit later. As I said before, this even works on iOS 18 if you're jailbroken, but only if you're jailbroken. So it's probably not gonna work on any other devices besides the iPad 7th generation for quite some time because we probably won't see a nine check me iOS 18 jailbreak for quite some time. In your package manager, make sure you have the Havoc repo added as a source. It should be there by default on most package managers. Then do a search for Troll Store Lite and it should pop right up. Just tap get to install it and continue through the installation process. Now that that's done, you should just be able to back out to the home screen and here's Troll Store Lite. It even has a built-in dark mode icon, which I think is a pretty nice touch. It's awesome to finally see dark mode icons built into iOS. An important thing to know is that Troll Store Lite requires a jailbreak to use because it requires AppSync. To the user, Troll Store Lite is the same, but there are key differences. The normal version of Troll Store requires a Core Trust bypass. Because of that, it only works on certain iOS versions. You can use Troll Store apps like normal apps when you reboot because of this. Since Troll Store 2 came out last November, there's been a ton of installation methods. So if you're curious about how to install the normal version of Troll Store, I have some tutorials linked in the description. The regular version of Troll Store just got a brand new iOS 17.0 installation method. So if you wanna know more about that, check down below in the description or in the cards when the video is out. With the regular version of Troll Store, there's no limitations, so you can install any IPA or TIPA without worrying about having it crash. However, with the limitations of a jailbreak with Troll Store Lite, apps side loaded with this will crash until you go back into jailbreak mode because app sync is required to make the apps work. So unfortunately, these apps will continue to crash and not work unless you're in jailbreak mode. In comparison with the regular version of Troll Store, it's nice to have apps that just work like regular App Store apps and don't crash. So if you're on the right iOS version, that's why I would recommend the regular Troll Store. So those unfortunately are some of the key differences and limitations. However, Troll Store Lite functions essentially the same way as regular Troll Store would. Like with a normal Troll Store, you can install from a URL or from an IPA or TIPA file. So for reference, I'm just gonna install Dynamic Cow and from there you can see it'll install and there you go. So this looks the exact same as regular Troll Store. From here, I can open it or I can open it on my home screen. And there you go. As long as what you're trying to install is compatible, you can install any IPA or TIPA file. Anyway, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys, peace. Thank you.